So a little while ago, I did a video on how much food fits into a bear canister or bear, you know, or sack or grub can, different options. I did all of that. And the reason why I did it is because when you look at the specs, it tells you how much it fits in liters. And what does a liter translate into when you're looking at these backpacking meals that you buy uh, at the store, these standard backpacking meals? It's kind of like, it's like telling an American a temperature in Celsius, right? You're just going to get like a blank stare. So I figured, let me figure out how many of these actually fit into these bear canisters. And I did that and it was great. And since then, um, Bear Volt, which is the company that makes the two probably most popular bear canisters, the BV450 and the BV500, came out with two new models. And they have cute names, which I forget, but they came out with the 425 and the 475. So I reached out to Bear Vault and I said, hey, can I do the same video with these guys? Can you send over some test units that I can do? And they were very cool and they sent them over right away. Very nice people. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how much of these two serving mountain house meals and some of these cliff bars actually fit into each one of these bear vault models, the 425, 450, 475, and 500. Now, last video I did, people said, oh, you could fit more in there if you take it out and put it in Ziploc bags and crush it down into nothing. I'm gonna assume that most people are just gonna buy these meals and wanna put it into the container without doing any other prep. If you take it out of this and you put it into Ziploc bags and you pack it down and you smush it, you'll be able to get more food in there. I can just tell you that right now. But for most people, including myself who backpacks fairly often, it's just not something I'm going to do. So we're going to see how much of these fit into these guys. And then after that, I'll take the, each one of these bear volts and I'll put it into two backpacks, a bigger backpacking bag and a smaller 30 liter uh, sort of overnight pack, we'll call it. And we'll see if these fit in there. I'll show you how it goes in and I'll show you what it looks like in the pack so you can get an idea of how much room it'll take up in your pack as well. Now, before I get rolling on packing these up, if you could do me a big favor, if you're gonna buy a bear canister or anything from REI or Amazon, use the links underneath the video. Again, you can buy anything from those. I'll get a small commission off the sale. You don't pay anything extra. But it's the way I'm able to uh, basically keep this channel running, do all the free hiking guides and the gear guides and everything. I'm not sponsored, promoted, any of that stuff. So thank you, thank you for that. And uh, if you're liking the video, just click the little thumbs up button. And it's an easy way to say thank you as well. All right, let's see how much uh, grub I can get into these bear volts.
So that's it. Hopefully that answered some questions for you guys. And just to note, the 475 and 425 are both approved for, I think, just about every national park and park entity here in the United States, as are the 450 and 500. So you can take these and safely use them without any getting any kind of ticket or fine. Um, for me, I used to use the 450 all the time when I needed a hard-sided canister, then I'd switch to an Ursac when I didn't. But for me now, I think I'm going to use the 425 all the time. It's a little bit heavier than an Ursac, but it definitely is much easier to use. You don't have to tie it to a tree or find something to tie it to. You can just sort of put your food in there, use it as a seat when you're around the camp, and then put it away from your campsite at night. You don't have to do anything special in terms of tying it and, and closing it up. So really small. I appreciate that it fits in the smaller pack. And uh, I think I found my new uh, canister for shorter overnight trips, which is mainly what I do, you know, one or two days overnight. So 425. And again, a big thank you to Bear Vault for sending these over. Really nice people. If you're going to buy these, you're doing uh, business with a company run by good people. So another plus there. All right, guys, if you have any questions or whatever, just leave me a comment and I'll, uh, I'll see you out on the trails.